The reef is core to Australia's identity and economy and improving its outlook is critical for the reef itself and the communities and industries that depend on it. It is the landmark that almost all Australians identify with and it's a great source of national pride. The 2019 Outlook Report has identified that despite concerted efforts and investments, the condition of the Great Barrier Reef has declined since 2014, and this is largely due to the impacts from climate change. This Outlook Report identifies the same four major threats to the Great Barrier Reef as previous Outlook Reports. Climate change, runoff from the land, coastal development, and some forms of fishing, particularly illegal fishing. What has changed this time is the increasing prominence of climate change as a greater threat than the others. In particular, with a whole series of climate-related extreme weather events, marine heat waves, cyclones, floods, we've seen growing impacts to the Great Barrier Reef. And what this emphasizes for us is the absolute critical need for the strongest possible mitigation of climate change and reduction in global greenhouse gas emissions. The Great Barrier Reef remains a vast, beautiful, thriving ecosystem, but many of the more sensitive elements of that ecosystem, particularly coral reefs, have been badly damaged in recent years by floods, cyclones and marine heat waves. Despite recent declines in some elements of the Great Barrier Reef ecosystem, others are actually doing relatively well and in fact improving. And great examples of this are humpback whales and the southern stock of green turtles. Now, these signs of recovery are a consequence of management actions to protect these species that were taken years or decades ago, just illustrating how sometimes there can be a long lag between taking the right action and seeing the final outcome. Rigorous science is critical both to underpin the Outlook Report but also the management of the marine park itself. We use science to improve our existing management programs such as Crown of Thorns starfish control and make them as effective as possible. But we also use science to show a way to an innovative future where we might have new techniques for protecting reefs such as restoration. It's important to note that the reef's outstanding universal value remains whole and intact, but it's also important to note that it does remain under pressure. What matters most is how we respond to those pressures. While global, national and local action on climate change remains absolutely critical to ensure the future of the Great Barrier Reef, it's also important that we continue working with our partners to deliver strong, effective and responsive marine park management. So how is the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority responding to these challenges? Well, we're delivering on our blueprint for resilience. We're working with partners on one of the most ambitious integrated monitoring programs in the world. We're doubling our field management program, culling crown of thorns starfish, cracking down on illegal fishing. We're working with traditional owners, community groups, ports, the tourism industry, and working with our partners in the catchments to improve water quality. Collectively, these actions will ensure Australia remains at the forefront of reef management internationally. While Outlook 2019 does contain some sobering information about the state of the reef and its likely future, it's important to remember that it's a vast, spectacular, and resilient system that can recover if given the opportunity. We are at a critical point in the history of the reef. It is important our management practices are future focused, our efforts collaborative and our actions targeted. The window of opportunity to influence the reef's long-term future is now.